Start this off by placing a pan onto your stovetop. Fill the pan just under halfway full or equivalent to 700 milliliters of either vegetable oil, canola oil or sunflower oil. Place the pan onto a medium low heat and allow the oil to get nice and hot or if you have a thermometer, bring it to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Whilst the oil is slowly heating up, with one avocado, slice it in half around the stone, being careful of your hands and fingers. Then twist the avocado open to reveal its flesh. Hit the stone with a knife, twist, remove and discard. Then scoop out the flesh with a spoon into a bowl and it doesn't matter if you break up the avocado as it's all going to be mashed up anyway. Then using the back of a fork, mash up the avocado until it's nice and smooth. Hopefully your avocado is a lot softer than the one I've got here. Using a microplane or fine zester, zest half of a lime into the avocado. This will add great flavour without the bitterness of the pith. Slice the lime in half and squeeze half of the lime into the avocado. This will add a fantastic citrusy flavour that will partner very well with the other components of this dish. Sprinkle in half a teaspoon of sea salt flakes and half a teaspoon of finely milled black pepper. Give it a mix to fully combine all of those flavours. Then give it a try and adjust the seasoning if necessary. Once that's all done, just pop it aside. With two fillets of squid or squid tubes, place your knife into the tube and slide down the side to open it up. Then we're going to make thin horizontal slices about quarter of the way through the tube. And this is called scoring. It will relax the muscles and tenderize the squid and it'll also give it a good looking pattern when it's cooked. Rotate the squid 90 degrees and slice across, creating a checkered pattern. All of this is optional, but I do recommend it. Like I said, it tenderizes the squid, which makes for a better end product. Once the squid is scored, rotate it another 90 degrees, then slice it in half, then cut the squid into thin, even-sized pieces. Place them on a plate and set them aside. To make our coating for the squid, in a bowl add 2 tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of corn flour, 1 and 1 quarter teaspoons of cracked black pepper, and 1 and 1 quarter teaspoons of sea salt flakes. Mix that all together to make sure it's fully incorporated, then add in the squid. Coat the squid well, making sure it's fully coated and none of it's stuck together, and not doing this properly will cause the squid to become gloopy, and also we won't get a nice crispiness to it. Once that's done, let's cook. When the oil was at temperature, it's good to go. Alternatively, you can check the oil was hot by placing a piece of squid into the oil. And if it sizzles a lot like this, the oil is ready. Just make sure it's not too hot. You may have to increase or decrease the heat. And unfortunately, without a deep fryer, there's no way of keeping the oil at an exact temperature. Once you're good to go, place in the squid away from you to avoid the oil splashing back. And make sure the squid is all not clumped up to ensure even cooking and crispiness. And depending on how big your pan is, you may also have to do this in batches. Then cook the squid for 45 seconds to one minute or until lightly golden brown. Move the squid around to ensure none are stuck together. Then after one minute, the squid is nice and lightly golden brown and has great crispiness to it. Place the squid into a bowl with some kitchen cloth to absorb any excess oil. Spoon the avocado onto a plate and give it a smear to create a base. Then place on the squid in a nice pile. Then with some sriracha sauce or chili sauce of your choice, we're going to drizzle it over evenly. as well as a little bit on top. Top this with some fresh coriander or cilantro leaves, and you might think I'm crazy for adding this, but it's seriously amazing. And then finish this off with a wedge of lime. And that looks so good. Then just quickly with the oil without throwing it away, once it's completely cold, through a sieve we can strain this into a container and reuse this oil at a later date. Place on a lid and store it in a cool dark space. And back to the squid. Squeeze over the lime and let's give this a try. The squid is crispy, the avocado is smooth and acidic, and the spice from the sriracha complements this so well. This recipe serves two and can be easily doubled, tripled and so on. I highly recommend this dish. Stay safe, have a great day and thanks for watching.